Welcome to Racing Manager 2014. This is something you can buy with money. Let's pick a picture. For some reason all the women are taller than all of the men in this world. What's going on with his hair? That's a bit Donald Trump. Let's be Commander Shepard. Uh, yeah, whatever, let's be Swiss, why the fuck not? Let's play as... Yogoto GP. Um, as you can see, some names are in German, some are not. I don't know why the Force India ripoff is in German, that doesn't really make much sense to me, um, but what do I know? Yeah, yeah, that can all stay the same. Um, that is just horrible. That is just horrible. Um, something to bear in mind when we go forward with this is that if Grand Prix World is the perfect example of how to do a F1 management game, this is probably the best example of how not to do one. It's inexcusably terrible, and if you're tempted at all to buy it, don't. Just don't. I will never forgive you, you'll never forgive yourself, it'll lead to a downward spiral of despair that will only end badly. Um, perhaps with comfort eating, or, I don't know, leaving your wife. Let's go. Someone got paid to make that loading screen. Just a thought. That was the actual loading time. Okay, this is a calendar with things on it. I'm not actually going to do a race, probably, just because they're so incredibly frustrating. Um, this is the personal area where if anybody touches you there, then make sure to tell your parents. These are things you can buy for no reason. Um, they're just money sinks. If you want to siphon money away from your racing team to buy a luxury car, that is something you can do. That's a level of detail that perhaps wasn't really necessary given how lacking in detail the rest of it is. Let's go to the canteen. Everyone here is painted watercolour. Apparently you can hire a spy. We're not interested in that. Let's see. So we have 35 designers, um, but no mechanics, no office staff, no trainers, no race engineers, no fan services, whatever they do, and 31 pit crew. Oh, that's, that's performance rating, that's not actual people. Alright, but we have 14 personnel who give us that. Okay, so we're missing many, many things. Yeah, we only have... Apparently we only have pit crew. Pit crew who can design for some reason. Yeah, filter for all employees. Personnel list, occupation, pit crew. They're all pit crew, so... I don't know where the design genius comes from. Um... That's a guy, yeah, whatever. No negotiation over his pay, you know, that's not something that happens in the real world. Um, so why would it happen here? We'll hire three designers, not that it'll get us anywhere. I'm hiring people almost at random. Um, I'm not hiring a two star on principle. Yep, yeah, there's someone there called Giuseppe, so that pretty much guarantees him a job. Ike Olaf. You are hired. Axel Derrick, you are hired. Uh, we'll hire two driver trainers because I don't care about the reserve. And we'll hire a race engineer named Hector. And another one named Voldemar. I forget what fan service people do, but there you go, Sebastian. And we'll hire another pit crew because reasons. That I think shows pretty much 
what the problem is here that they've gone to the they've gone to the level of detail whereby you're hiring individual staff members for design positions and pit crew positions and stuff and you know nothing about them except an arbitrary score and the arbitrary score I have no idea if that changes is that dynamic do they develop do they retire do they actually age I mean these are all questions the game does not communicate this to you in any way shape or form uh, apparently we're going to need some drivers we have two chess drivers Jan Schnulli who is apparently Italian despite his name not really matching with that and Karen Klanwok who's terrible um, we'll fire him immediately now here's one of the few things I do like if you go down at the bottom here, there are certain skills that they have. That's actually a good idea. Like, I'm being super sarcastic about this game because it's terrible and you shouldn't buy it, but there are some people working on this at some stage who have a genuine love of Formula 1. But those people don't know how to make a Formula 1 management game. In fact, nobody at that company knows how to make a Formula 1 management game. They shouldn't be allowed anywhere near it. This should go out to someone who has any rudimentary knowledge of what makes a fun game because this isn't it um, <clears throat> Jewish Hampshire nice Michael Stiefelmacher nice I just don't know let's hire a lady driver you know strike a blow for gender equality oh no it's just a man with a girl's name um Chance of success impossible. That pretty much sums up the whole experience, really. Um, well then, let's get a Norwegian guy called Antonius Lester. Let's see what his unlikely face is. Nice. Looks like a rapist. Um, well, he's a cheap date. So, yeah, why not sign him for a season? He's better than the git we just fired anyway. Um, let's see if there is anybody remotely good who isn't signed to a team. Oh, another Norwegian dude. Yeah, let's sign him. Go Team Norway. He's even cheaper, which doesn't make sense because he's twice as good. Yeah, we had the other guy for 120,000, and this guy's on 90,000, and he's already guaranteed. See, look, it's just this pervading sense of inconsistency. Like, look, he accepts the contract straight away, but there's there's not really a negotiation element there. Like, we don't know anything about him. Like, in in Grand Prix World, you can look at stats and realize, and, and the stats are not randomly generated. Like, you know what you're getting. Um, see something else I like look you can fund a go-kart team and a Formula 3000 team that's brilliant that is a really good idea but why is it just established team drag up a funding slider and that's it why can't you have input on what drivers are there why can't you see them develop the whole thing is just nuts that can all piss off uh, we're not going to do any spying because what's the point now I'll show you this. This is awful. Look at that. You can paint the various parts of your car, but I don't know why, because the sponsor system is completely arbitrary and will ruin any attempt to make a coherent design. I will demonstrate this now by picking up the phone, calling sponsors, because this is how it works in the real world, and pressing the Find a Sponsor button. I think that's supposed to be AMD. Uh, we can have a one racing duration. I mean, there's no excuse. There is no excuse. This is a big publisher putting this out. I mean, you've got to remember that this comes through the same publishing house as games like Tropico. Like, there is no excuse for not checking something as rudimentary as that. That's just a poor translation that nobody's been asked to fix. Um, let's do a negotiation attempt. That improves the money we get a little bit because that's how the real world works as well. You just 
click negotiate and everyone's fine with it. Back to sign with these guys. See, now if I'd decided I wanted my cars to be green and white for any particular reason, this has just completely fucked that. That's just knackered. Alright, and to show you the real core of the problem, let's sign these guys for the front. See, that's, compl that's completely changed the direction of the livery. And then the front spoiler will have a uh, dodgy Burger King. See, and that's a completely different set of colours again. And then these fuckers there, yeah, why not? And yeah, yeah, so that looks good. Um, I think anybody who spent time designing um, a, a multi-million pound racing car and then hired people at an extraordinary rate to design a coherent and um, customer facing design strategy for the entire package something that people can look at on TV and say that's a good looking car and recognize the brands that are involved there and give them a clear identity on track I think anyone from that world would look at this and say yes that is how it should be I mean why 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 does the higher part of that wing have the same name twice that's duplicated below? why put it on the inside where you're cutting it in half who's going to see that what's the point um you know we're going to let's go back to the garage we'll take this laissez faire attitude a step further cuz you know why not where's the paint shop there um the nose can be orange for a laugh um, the real spoiler can be purple for Simon. I know you love your purple, Si. Get a bit of pink on there, because we can. The diffuser, which is basically on the floor of the car, we'll paint that blue, because, you know, that's that's how the world works. Deflector, by which I think it means barge boards. Uh, that can be this nice pastel shade of green. Um, and the side pods can be... Lime green, sure, sure. Um, and the airbox, I'll tell you embarrassing fact now, I used to own a 1992 Ford Escort that was painted this exact colour. At least that kind of goes with the sponsor on that bit of the car, so there's something. And the mirrors can be yellow. Excellent. So that's what I would call making the best of a bad job. Um, I mean, it's essentially a fucking clown car. Now, also, I can't help but notice that the uh, the wheels up on these racks here, which is, you know, they have credit to them, copied the Pirelli uh, colour coding system. They don't match the tyres that are on the car, which match the 1990s and 2000s Bridgestones. They're also car wheels. Like, they're treaded. I mean, it's yeah, it's a minor geeky detail, whatever, but, you know, anyone who professes to know anything about this should, you know, know that that is wrong. Um, let's go to the wind tunnel for all that does. These are numbers. A handling score of plus six. I don't know if that's good. What's it out of? Does that mean it understeers? Does that mean it oversteers? Oh, God. Um, let's go to the workshop. Can't repair anything because we haven't done anything, so that's good. Um, okay, so we now need to build the car. Uh, you'd think we'd already done that since we painted it, but no. Get out of the wind tunnel. Um, so how this works is you are supposed to develop parts, um, but initially anything you develop is going to be completely terrible. So instead, you... Um, you buy parts, which if you are in any way um, familiar with Formula 1, you'll know that... I don't even know where I'm going in this menu. It's so counterintuitive. Do I get it? Suppliers, there we go. That buying anything from an external partner ends badly. Like, it just doesn't work. Uh, by the way, if you're interested, I'm getting 12 frames a second. So there's that too. So I'm going to spend $52,000 on a single 
airbox made by somebody else because that's how Formula One teams work. Um, yeah, I'm not buying spare parts. They can. I'm just going to build two cars. I, I really, honestly, I I just have no desire at all to show you the the race. Um, simply because Simon's already done it, and it. it oh my God! It just nothing you do means anything. Um. Oh. Also helps if we get an engine. Um. Yeah, whatever, we'll get a rip off BMW. Yep, that sounds good. Okay. Oh, hold on, I needed something else, didn't I? Yep. Okay, so let's get two transmissions. Don't make our own steering wheels. Um, I imagine this is probably how Forza Rossa was going to work. It's certainly how Haas is working. Do you know? Actually, now I think about it, I might, I might actually just for fun do a bit of a playthrough of this just to show you <coughs> fully. The horror of the... I'll illuminate fully the full horror of the situation. Bit of a mouthful. Yeah, let's just get in there. This is pointless busy work. I'm having to install every component individually. And because they're badly made, they'll wear really badly as well. Yes, I'm not bothering setting up this thing. Look at it. Okay, let's see if that's made a difference in the wind tunnel. I don't know what we were measuring before. Yes, it has. Now we have a handling of 9 and aerodynamics of 19. What were we testing? What did we put? We hadn't even built a fucking car. What, what did we put in the wind tunnel? What does this graphic mean? I, I, this is something that generates more questions than it answers. Anyway, here's the office, which is for some reason at a track, and the track is permanently busy. Uh, let's go to do some research and development. <clears throat> yes, let's develop a basic understanding of car design in four days. Good, 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 good. Okay, the cars are built. There's nothing more for us to do here, so let's go to the office. Where's the calendar? No. Don't care about the emails. How much money have we got? 90 million? Yeah, let's siphon some cash. Yep, the team's just paid for that. Why not? And now we'll forward time. And I'll put this heap of ridiculous nonsense on the test track. Because I want to show you what Simon managed to show you. Um, very, very well. Which is the massive disparity in the field. Um, it's just unfeasible. Tell you what else is unfeasible, that 5 frames per second frame rate. Oh no, there is no test, we're just going straight to practice in Singapore. Oh god. Personnel. Is this it? Yeah. Driver overview. Driver positions. You can be first driver, you can be second driver. Congratulations. Now can we go? Yes, we can. 
By the way, this isn't an interim screen. This is actually how it is. Um, you can st we're still in the canteen. We're probably watching it on TV or something. Um, yeah, we'll set it up for maximum speed, whatever. Um, yeah, yeah, just yeah, whatever. Get a move on. I want to get back out on track. You haven't been out once yet, you twat, and I've only just unpaused it. See, they they shout this random abuse at you all the way through, and I've got no idea what's what for. Um, right, I'll put him some fuel in. Sixty liters. No idea what that means. Yeah, everything's set up for speed. Not really suitable for this track, but whatever. Go. You want to be out on track? Go. So, some bonus points for attempting to render everything in 3D. No points awarded at all for... I mean, what is this? Like, what am I seeing here? And why does it cut out after two seconds? I and mean, what's the point? You might as well have not bothered creating that and we'll just watch these icons drive around. Why is the event paused? Oh, it pauses when it's showing me live footage for some reason. Right, you, come in the pits. Yep, 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 hurry the fuck up. Traffic is the least of your worries, mate. Okay, can I get to the timing board? There's the timing board. The fastest lap, I think that's supposed to be, the blah, is a 216.112. Um, we have guys in the 235.697s, um, which surprisingly isn't us. Um, apparently our drivers have gone out for for fun. That's something they're doing. There's 40 drivers for some reason. Um, we're second and third, and I don't know how. I, none of this makes any sense. How is that guy gone four seconds a lap faster? Oh, fuck this. Fuck this. Thank you for joining me for this brief and incredibly depressing, deeply, deeply harrowing look at Racing Manager 2014. Don't buy it. Don't even think of buying it. Don't even look at it. It might go away. Thanks very much.